Hey coaches, so I just took kind of a longer Ray Higdon training and he was, I'm gonna just pick apart one little piece of it so this will be super short and sweet. So what do you say to people that you're following up with where maybe you're not really showing them information anymore, you're past that point and it just wasn't the right time for them, so you can check back with them you know, at a later date to see if maybe a later date would be a good time for them. So one strategy is called update and deflect, don't sell update and deflect, don't sell. And what that means is let's say, let's use a health example, then I'll give a business example. Let's say you just lost, um, I don't know, five pounds this past week or whatever. So you could go back to your list of people. You should always have a list. Every lead you create, you generate, write their name down and follow up in future dates, right? So you can always go back to like, let's say it's been about a month since, um, I don't know, you invited Sally and you determined, you and Sally determined it wasn't the right time for her for whatever reason, whatever that looked like, or you just stopped hearing from her, I don't know. But you could uh, update her about a month later and you could say something like, hey Sally, I just lost another five pounds these past couple weeks drinking this delicious superfood shake and just curious if you know anybody who'd be interested in losing an additional five pounds and, and gaining more energy because I got more energy too. Uh, and you know, just leave it at that. So update, deflect, don't pitch. And maybe a month after that, you could you could contact Sally again and say, hey Sally, I just lost another five pounds. I'm only a few more pounds away from my goal. Who do you know who'd be interested in losing some extra weight and getting more energy? And maybe another update, you know, next month after that with Sally could be, hey Sally, I reached my goal weight. I'm feeling great. My energy is amazing. Just curious if you know anybody who's interested in gaining more energy, losing more weight for the holidays, maybe not the holidays is coming up or something like that. You can use all sorts of ways to update somebody. Um, so you can use energy, you can use weight loss, you can use maybe the way your skin feels, maybe how fast your hair is growing, how much stronger your nails are, how much fit you are, how much less out of breath you are, you know, all kinds of updates. And you're a product of the product, so every month, every week, you're gonna have some kind of update that you can update people with and deflect. And you go through all these names on your list and you can update people that way. Now here's a, an example of a business one. You could say, um, hey Sally, I just afforded a vacation for my family with my, with my home business money that I'm making. And I was just curious, who do you know who'd be interested in making some side money, maybe somebody that would like to have a vacation paid for? Right? Or maybe you could be like, um, hey Sally, I just, after one month, I, I can fill my car up with gas. Just doing this really part time in my, my precious minutes, it didn't take any time away from anything else, and it's affording me my gas now for my car. Who do you know who'd be interested in doing something in their spare time if it doesn't get in the way of anything else they've got going on to make some extra money? Who do you know who'd be, who'd, who might be open to that? So again, you're updating, deflecting, and not pitching at all. And so the next question is, if you're developing leads on a daily basis, because that's what we teach, daily core vital behaviors, you should be talking to new people every day. Obviously after, I don't know, maybe a few months has passed, or a few weeks or a few months, you're not gonna have time to update everybody on your list, that's not possible. So you kinda gotta be choosy, like maybe somebody that has really cool connections and they're popping on their social media and Facebook pages, or somebody who you just believe would be really great at this. Um, and then there's a lot of people that you're not gonna wanna follow up with like that because there's just not enough time to it. So you gotta prioritize who you're gonna follow up with this particular strategy. So that's something you can think about and utilize and, uh, and try it out because the point being behind this is that you never know who's gonna be ready when they're gonna be ready. It's always a timing thing. Like when you got into this, it probably wasn't when you first heard about it. It wasn't when I first heard about it. It was a few months later, like three months or so later. Yeah, it was about three and a half months later, the timing was right for me and I got in. So think about that, you know, and uh, update your strategy. And my website, TomBirkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media. Tons more trainings, TomBirkenmeyer.com. And shoot for this update in the future. Maybe it'll take a couple of years, I don't know. Just be like, you know, everybody on your list, hey Sally, well, you know that thing I started a couple years ago, I finally did it. I now make more than enough money to replace my job. Who do you know who'd be interested in doing something in their spare time where it might take a couple years where they could possibly replace the income from their job too? If you know anybody like that, 
I'd love to talk to them. That's a nice update. And then the little updates along the way and the updates after that too. Like my update now could be to somebody like, hey Sally, you know that thing that I've been doing for you know the past 10 years now, it only took me two and a half years to replace my job income and just you know last week I, I helped somebody achieve their first financial milestone. I was wondering if you know anybody in this tough economy who'd be interested in that if it doesn't get in the way of anything else that they've currently got going on. So that could be an update I would use. And as your position changes, as you progress, your updates could progress too and get better and better. But along the way, between those big updates, you got these little ones you could follow up with people. Update and deflect, do not pitch. So there you go. So get creative and start thinking of ways you can update people and deflect without pitching, okay? All right, bye guys.